Okay, so we're gonna try to make an Android TV out of PC. It should be kind of easy. I just downloaded this file. It was from Brazil, looks like, whatever. Android TV 9. So I'm assuming it's Android 9. And we're gonna extract the ISO for this folder here. Let me wait for it to stop. Okay, so we have the ISO file ready right here. Okay, so now what we're gonna do... This is supposed to be portable, and the beauty of it is that you can just plug it on a PC, and it should just run without needing to fully install and all that stuff. You will need a USB drive that's at least 8 gigabytes. That is one of the requirements. And Rufus. Rufus is free and available anywhere. And we're gonna do the 16 gigabytes. Yes, multiple portions because I had something else on it. And the rest I'm just gonna leave as is. Yep. And we're gonna close this one. I'm gonna update it later. And now we're gonna select the ISO really quick. Here's our ISO. Yep, it says ISO. Open, wait for it. And we're gonna leave it GPT, UEFI, blah, 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 all that stuff. Start. And it should technically do all the rest for us. Just wait for it to populate and write and delete and reportion and repartition and all that good stuff and we'll be right back to plug it in some computer i guess we'll see okay so now it says the usb is ready and we're gonna put that to the test uh, this one here is done with it now before we do anything else we have to go to this android tv drive because we have to do something really quick now you see these zip files right here there's a 32 gig 16 gigs and 8 gigs we're gonna delete these three because we have nothing to do with any of them okay but we need to unzip this uh, data four gigabytes because it has the image inside and we're just gonna unzip it right here where it where it's at and we're gonna hit extract here and wait for the files to be extracted it should be four gigabytes just give it a second and at this point we should be good after we delete the data zip file that and that's what you should have in your usb drive we're gonna safely remove it and we will do the rest on uh, on the pc see you in a sec so here's the usb that we created this is uh one of those older hp towers pro desk whatever it actually has USB 3, but I didn't make this uh, ISO on a USB 3. But for now, it will work just for this example. Uh, I'm going to plug it right there and we're going to start it. Just make sure you know where your BIOS key is on your keyboard on this one, since it's an HP, should be F9. But depending on your computer, just uh, you can Google search BIOS key for whatever computer you have. Okay, and let's see if it starts, because that's when we know we are doing something. Okay. And that's what you will see for the first time. Initiar Android TV means probably something. And uh, we'll, we'll see when it starts. And here we are into Google or Android TV startup. We'll have to wait till that on the bottom you'll see some make, make, make stuff going on and off. And we'll give it its own time to do its own job. Now, if your PC is a little bit newer or if you have one of the new mini PCs, this would work even better. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna go on with this HP ProDesk uh, 600 G1, I think is this one. And this is gonna be our startup screen. You'll have to set it up just like you would set up a normal uh, Android TV. I'm going to leave mine on English. Set up your TV with an Android or tablet. Okay, we're not going to do that. And you can connect to a Wi-Fi that you might have. I'm going to connect real quick. Oh, and before I forget, guess what? I'm actually controlling it with one of these remotes. Yeah, this one has been smashed a few times and all that. It works. I'll leave a link below for one of these. As you see, it works. And that's all I care. I'm going to connect quick to a network. And and we'll get right back to you. And we are connected successfully. It will check for, check for updates. Here's where you would sign in. I'm going to continue. It recognized the remote from the beginning. Now I have to enter an account, which I will see if I actually have one that I can spare here. Really quick, just give me a second. And we have to accept here no location i will help later because this is just for i don't need google assistant get full assistant no thanks choose a name for your nexus player i'm just gonna leave it android tv and we click next 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 done and it's adding the finishing touches and we are good to go quick and as you see now we are inside the device and you can just control it like you would control any android tv 
And now this, uh, be the beauty of this one is that the USB that's inside right now is actually uh, portable. So anything you set up here will be to that USB and you can put it on any other, uh, whatever you call a uh, PC. And now I can go ahead and take this PC, connect it to a TV at any room. And these are rechargeable and it doesn't require Bluetooth. This kind of remote is actually rechargeable and that's it. You just plug the USB. It has a little USB that you plug in the computer, connects directly to this remote, and you don't need the mouse and keyboard and all that. And as you see, we have YouTube, Google Play Movies and TV, live channels, games, Explorer, TV Store, Play Store, music. This is beautiful. I, I'm really liking it so far. What are the live channels? I have no idea what these are. And I'll click done. Okay. Oh, look at that. So these are tv options now this would work better if your pc had a faster wi-fi card or if you connected directly to ethernet but i don't have neither right now so i'm not gonna really play that much unfortunately but we're just testing around so that's what matters let's go to settings really quick okay okay google detection nope our account device press preferences about android tv version 9 nexus player is the model that's perfect 2018 so we might need to hit system update really quick and we'll see if there is any updates okay looks like we have some updates okay update available tap to download okay that part is done what do we have notifications okay i don't want to set up any of that so as you see you have all this stuff ferrari was quite an okay movie i guess hell house origins i haven't seen that one yet that's something to take a look uh, let's see if we can get somewhere else and here's inside youtube this is my own video so this is your android tv and you can just set it up according to whatever your needs are and obviously the more ram you have in your computer the faster the usb and the faster your internet the better it will work but for now for me this is perfect just to show that it actually works and it is possible as you see here and if you want to follow this i'll try to leave a link if i can and Take a look for yourself if you are into wanting to do one of these portable USBs that you can plug to any PC and it will be yours. With that said, please hit like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you later. Share it with anybody that might need it. Bye.